How you doing, Coach Rick? I've got my assistant Zach here. He's cracking up. This is his first YouTube video. We're going to talk about throwing the ball. There's two simple things we're going to focus on, and that's about throwing a little bit harder, a little bit farther with good mechanics. In this slow motion video, we can see one of the most common issues with young players and throwing where they dip their throwing elbow and bring the ball down below their head and almost shot put the ball uh, where they lose a lot of strength and uh, a lot of distance in their throws. We're gonna show you how to do two simple mechanics to, to make that better. When you're here in this position about to throw to your target, you're going to be reaching back and up. The ball is gonna be above my head, we're reaching back and up, but at the same exact time, we're stepping forward. It's a separation from the middle. We reach back and up, and we step forward at the same time. We separate like this. My glove is pointing to my target. And then, when I separate, we're gonna count to three. On three, we're actually gonna come up and throw at our target, okay? We're gonna count to three. One, two, three. And that ball, when I throw it, is over here, up and back, over my head, throwing over at my target. We're gonna do a few of these with Zach, and we're going to see how his elbow improves coming up, the ball staying up high, and following through right to his target versus the slow motion video that you saw before. Ready to try it? Okay, we're gonna do the one, two, three. We're gonna focus on lifting the ball over our head and at the same time, stepping forward. You don't have to lift your leg, it's okay if you do but we're focusing on holding the ball back and stepping forward. That looks great, Zach. So we're gonna count to three and do it. That's a nice hard throw. You don't have to throw too hard. Just focus on hitting your target. Let's do one, two, three. Can you call out one, two, three when you do it? That's one, two, three. Good, wow, nice throw. Let's focus on lifting that ball high. Okay, the second part is taking it a step back and playing really easy catch with your partner. And this is gonna help us focus on lifting that elbow up, keeping that ball up high, and developing that muscle memory. Because moving forward, when you're on the field and you're playing ball, all that muscle memory that we practice hundreds and hundreds of times every week is gonna come through in the game. So right now, we're gonna just be a few feet apart, probably about 10 feet apart. We're gonna play a little easy catch, nice easy tosses. And when you slow things down and get closer, so there's less push pressure on the player making that throw, they'll be able to slow down the mechanics and focus on keeping that elbow up and that ball up. And then we're, after, we're gonna look at the difference in the throws. Okay, Zach? There you go. Good. You can go as slow as you want. Just hold that ball up and your elbow up, right? Great. The reason we want to slow things down is to take pressure off our player, but also so they are aware of what their body is doing. So you'll, you'll see already that by slowing things down, Zach is keeping his elbow up and the ball up and now making a more natural throw instead of dipping his elbow down and shot putting it like we saw a little bit earlier. All right, hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I almost forgot, if you found something helpful, hit that notification bell. Have a good day. See you later.